Laura Dees from Wrexham hopes to represent Great Britain at the 2014 Winter Games and follow in the slipstream of GB's Bob Skeleton team, currently starring in Vancouver. best known for its beautiful Regency architecture, the Roman Baths or the Rugby Club. But the city is also the training base for one of Britain's most successful Winter Olympic sports. Britain landed medals at the last two Olympics and there could be another in Vancouver with Amy Williams in the gold medal position heading into tonight's final. Much of the team's success stems from plucking athletes from other sports, men and women who'd never have dreamed of tearing headfirst down an ice track for a living. Meet one of the newest converts, Laura Dees, Olympic hopeful for Sochi in four years' time. My brother heard about this thing called Girls for Gold on the radio and said, oh, maybe you should have a go. They're looking for athletes for 2012 and 2014. Um, and him and my mum, between them, persuaded me to send off an application form and uh, went from there, really. Her background couldn't be further from the ice track. This time last year, she was a professional event rider, but jumped at the chance of a different challenge. I turned up at Manchester, which was one of the venues, uh, in late August last year, and um, we were doing sprint tests, jump tests, power tests, and also things like height, weight, arm span, and leg length, and so on. It was all very scientific, I suppose, to try and um, ascertain what, what we might actually be scientifically best at. And when you went there, what sports were you hoping for? Uh, well, there was a long list and I saw Skeleton and I thought, oh, that sounds really exciting, so, you know, that, that would be really cool. But uh, Modern Pentathlon was on there as well and I thought possibly because of the, the eventing and pony club background, um, that if anything, that might be the one that, that I got picked for. So it was, a, it was a big surprise. After the selection, the hard graft. She spent much of the winter training abroad. Tough work getting used to speeds of up to 90 miles an hour on a sled with no brakes, no steering. The first run was a complete blur, to be honest. When you get on, I, I was pushed off at the top, and I remember thinking the first few corners, oh, this is all right, it's not that bad. And then it suddenly picked up speed and just got faster and faster and faster. And I just, just trying to get your head around how fast you're going is the main thing. But as soon as I got to the bottom, I, I knew I wanted to do it again. You know, it was a case of, you know, get me back up to the top because I want to have another go. So why, we've got no track in this country, why are we so good at skeleton? I think it's, it's purely because we don't have our own track. We're forced to pick up skills quickly when we go to other tracks, which means that although other countries might have uh, people with, who are specialists on their own track, um, we're better all-rounders really, because we can go to any track and, and pick, pick it up quite quickly. What's the big, the big aim long term? Uh, well, ultimately, you know, the Olympics at Sochi in 20, 2014 is the dream. Um, but obviously it's, it's a long way off, so between now and then just keep training hard, um, keep enjoying it and see where it takes me.